Hello folks, this is an old question of 2015, Major Paper 13 and the question number is 15. This question is concerned with the chapter of forces. Um, it uh, deals with the uh, several types of interactions of several forces. So an air bubble uh, in a tank of water. So we have a tank of water and we have an air bubble uh, is rising with a constant velocity. So constant velocity means that there is the case of uh, terminal velocity actually. So we call it as terminal velocity velocity which is the maximum velocity possible so it is vt or i can say it as v max so it's rising up with uh, terminal velocity uh, the forces acting on the bubble are x y and z x y and z so it's going up uh, velocity is here so the force is going z so what it describes the three forces so it, it uh, uh, tells uh, it we have to identify which of the three forces could be these things the first thing is uh, the weight of the body, the weight of the body. So weight of the body should be definitely downward. Uh, then comes up thrust, uh, up thrust. So up thrust force should be definitely upward because it always acts up. Uh, it's because of the liquid displaced. And then the next is uh, since the body is going upward, go upward, the drag force, drag force or the viscous force should be upward sorry uh, it should be downward because it is uh, going uh, since the body is going upward it should be downward now what we must have is uh, if the body is turning with constant velocity the resultant force is equal to zero so it means that a total upward force should be equal to total downward force total upward should be equal to downward force that means then that the upward force is up thrust uh, up thrust which is uh, up thrust is x here so x should be equal to uh, should be equal to the downward forces are drag and weight so it should be equal to uh, one is y plus one is z yeah, so y is uh, y and z so here uh, x equal y and z so it means that uh, uh, among these choices uh, choice number b and d they disqualify because they talk something about uh, more than and less than and uh, in uh, a and b we have got x equal to y plus z now the main uh, thing is the relative magnitude of this y and z re relative magnitude of this y and z so we have to identify which one could be weight and which one could be the viscous drag so one thing that we have to remember is uh, during the terminal velocity velocity the velocity is maximum the velocity is maximum so since the velocity the maximum velocity has been denoted by this v max which we can also call it as the terminal velocity and uh, uh, since v mag uh, velocity is maximum the drag force there uh, is for example the viscous force equal to 6 pi eta r v terminal uh, where uh, eta is the coefficient of viscosity of that uh, medium r is the radius of the spherical thing and uh, vt is the terminal velocity so since vt is maximum this also should be maximum so the drag force at that time should be maximum drag force should be maximum so that means that among these arrows among these arrows this is jet should be jet should be the drag force because at that time the drag force is at its maximum value so it should be more than the weight so jet should be drag force and y should be the weight so 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 if you go to choices here we have got so jet is the viscous drag viscous drag y is the weight weight and x is the up thrust so x up thrust uh, there's no uh, no problem no problem but uh, among y and z we have to identify which one is uh, uh, the drag and which one is the weight so here the drag force is at its highest during terminal velocity so its value should be more so z should represent the drag force and uh, the other y should be the weight of the bubble so 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 choice number a seems to be the correct choice in choice number uh, c we say that z is the weight larger one is the weight smaller one is the viscous drag which is not correct because uh, as we have already stated uh, during the terminal velocity the viscous drag is at its highest value so it should be definitely higher than the weight there so 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 choice a should be the correct choice and choice c is incorrect so one thing that we have to remember here is since we have x equal to y plus z y plus z we have we have we have we have uh, the length of this arrow length of this arrow is equal to the sum of lengths of the arrows of y and z length of arrow of x is equal to sum of lengths of arrows of y and z so vectorially also they have made the diagram very very correct so as we as a level students uh, should uh, 
be able to draw vectors in that manner in that manner it's not only in words so in diagrams also they should appear as equals